to enter into quantum mechanics in depth. I think I'll, I'll give definition that with that definition at least you can manage this one. So I need exactly around 14 hours to explain this, not one two. Because the Fermi level is everything. Huh? To, to be frank, the Fermi level is what that everything. So did they uh, free electrons? How many are there? Six. Okay, then six holes. This is a conduction band. Shall I write CB in short, valence band? Uh, and this is called like a Fermi level. Uh, for what, what this is, this is for intrinsic semiconductor where does the Fermi level will be like this so what is it what, what do you mean by Fermi level hmm? is defined as work done to had average work done Average work done to add an electron to the system. So now, now you can ask question like, sir, like a, uh, th these are the holes are there. Th these are the electrons. So average work done to add an electron. We have electrons here and this electron is here. So the average energy what happened? Don't take again many that one. How much of average work done to add an electron that one? So the energy of energy, this energy and this energy, I'll take average of that. Where do it lie? It will lie somewhere in the Fermi level. But sir, like you should do one thing. There are so many valence bands below. I'm not bothered that one because they're of no use. Because if I supply energy, means work done to add an electron to a system. How much of? work I should do to add an electron to the system that particular is called like a Fermi level. <laughs> so for that what happened I look at this electron the electrons are here and and what about here valence electrons so what is the average energy of these two will lie somewhere here so that's called like a Fermi level. Uh, I think uh, this only definition I cannot go beyond this uh, because it's totally uh, like it's related to the other level of physics. But in exam, just you will ask you for intrinsic semiconductor where Fermi level lies exactly in between the forbidden gap. What, what is this? This everything is called like a forbidden gap. This everything is called like a forbidden. For Fermi level for pure symptom, where do it lies? It lies in the middle of the forbidden gap. Uh, means these are the very dangerous ways of asking things. You can't blame anybody. If you are unable to solve these questions, you should blame your teacher. That's all finished over. He didn't teach properly. <laughs> because you can't blame any book. Because NCT book, no way discussion. NCT or MSU or MSU or MSU or NCT book or you take integrated book. So, but but it can they can ask you something very random of these things. So therefore maximum I'll try to irrespective of NCT book, SC1, I'll just dump some additional things, which they may ask. This is what happens in extra syllabus. You can't just only take NCT book as standard. You just read NCT book now and check the mains paper. Almost you can say that every year, uh, till now around some 35 questions, you can say they are out of syllabus since they were not described in NCT book till date from 2000, uh, almost from three, you can start counting to till date. Around 35 questions are there where you can say that as they should be deleted. No, no description in the book, but still they can they, they will ask you. So to the level of us, like in the form of definition or in that way that one. So just uh, trust your teacher is not teaching anything extra, can be asked for you. Hmm? So just don't read NCT book. Uh, will not be sufficient that much I can say. Especially physics is of no use in city book. Extra syllabus, if you aren't, <laughs> you can have a glance, but you cannot take that as a reference.
you can do numericals, but the content you can't take is a reference. And you can say only this much they'll ask. Okay, now let's get into this one. There's a pure semiconductor. Let's see that. I will connect this pure semiconductor to a cell. This pure semiconductor. Let it be connected to a, a external source, like a battery. Then how the behavior of this pure semiconductor. So let's get expression for this. So there is a cell of potential difference V. <coughs> so let L be the length of the this conductor. Let A be the area of cross section. And now what this intrinsic sum conductor? It contains free electrons in conduction band and holes in the valence band. So now uh, first we'll talk about the free electrons. So what free electrons will happen? The free electrons here. will start moving like this. Okay, I agree this. And then from negative terminal, the battery should <coughs> generate electrons and these electrons will flow like this here. Now, what about holes? So what about holes? Yes, holes, holes also will propagate. How, do, how the direction of the propagation of hole? The hole will be like this. Now you look at the inside the conductor, who is responsible? So now, now you can ask question, sir, all, all will come here? No, conductor will not permit, no, because the conduction band and valence band will overlap and no probability of finding the all. So way that all will have a displacement, will have a net displacement in the inside the semiconductor. Sir, how do all can move? How do the all can move? Suppose say this particular free electron is there. So the, the, this particular valence electron. So you, you look at in terms of valence electron. Here valence electron is there. So what this positive terminal will do along with this free electron, free electron, it will also pull this valence electron. Say so th th this is a main idea. So why you are showing current due to both. <coughs> if it were in conductor, no question of holes. Will agree only free electrons. And, and that particular free electrons, they'll, they'll move in conductor. But here what happened, along with this free electron, this positive terminal of cell, what it'll do? It will pull out valence electrons from here. So when this valence electron, the moment it comes out, so it will become free electron. I agree with this. So, so you have to show it things here in this way. The valence electron, the moment it comes after the material when it is there in this conducting wire. Copper wire and this is silicon. Silicon or germanium, anything it is. Huh? Pure semiconductor. Will come like this. Okay, now, uh, finally what happened? The number of electrons at any instant, if I switch off cell, how many, the net charge of this should be zero. So the <coughs> electron which is lost, what will happen? The, these electrons again will come here. So it's better to uh, show this one. Is it okay now? This electron, the moment it jumps, will become valencel. So how do that all will move? Now that was our my primary question. No? So uh, actually here, th this particular electron, which comes here, no? So here all will be there. So I'll I'll. Again, again, this is for your understanding purpose. So this, let's let's assume that th this electron, th this electron is what like is similar to like free electron. This electron corresponds for all. The moment this electron, the all is here, no. So what that all will do? So this free electron, when all captures free electron, what do we get? Next, there's a one more important thing I'm introducing. All plus free electron. So this should become equal to a valence electron. Now there's an important equation. Whole 
free electron and this is a valence electron so when a hole captures a free electron it will become a valence electron means when free electron captured by hole it will become a valence electron so i'll i'll put it here when a free electron captured by hole it will become see such a sensitive information in books they'll try to avoid why they try to avoid they should not show the diagram which i'm drawing <laughs> this against our conventions we have some certain convention what scientific convention we follow it so books they didn't show it uh, since without showing anything explaining will be difficult so that's why they left to teacher it's a duty of teacher to show diagrams like this and explain see uh, i think I, i studied electronic and communication this is my mother subject to be frank so i studied in btech uh, from the third semester all these things prior to that what been uh, like a, we were made to learn first quantum mechanics because without quantum mechanics we can't understand but nowadays i think if you look at the even in iit they stopped teaching like this i studied from bangalore university where what happened in the first semester what happened the professors or the pen who are going to come for third semester no they advised us you read the total physics the quantum quantum physics quantum mechanics and in third semester when i start okay that one the whole one year we started reading physics then now what happened that culture stopped even in iits it was actually started in iits and iits that one in most of the universities we used to earlier they used to follow but even in iits now they stopped it they directly they don't they start with this and they explain that's why the quality of research is coming down because the basic fun, see what is learn of uh, without learning quantum mechanics you are learning semiconductors of no use now what you are learning is just information not learning so like this what happen even iit is also they're coming with not core ideas so anybody gets a branch electro electronic and communication telecommunication electrical engineering this one even you will get is like a instrumentation engineering because all everything related to this electronics only the diode is a, the base for that i think semiconductor physics is a base so without quantum mechanics not possible so you must learn quantum mechanics irrespective whether your professor will teach or not no professor will teach but they will ask you to read so one year is a sufficient time no daily you read one hour that is enough daily you read one 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 hour whenever you get a time read it think it no so that that time will be sufficient hmm? so uh, you have a lot of challenging things na no? outside world is not suitable to acquire knowledge in systematic way even it is also definitely i can say that one huh? so you should acquire knowledge on your own uh, unless you don't become independent in acquiring knowledge you you cannot grow and this is my sincere advice since like i belong to this particular branch of science and technology you know so what are the Uh, uh, necessity needed i'll tell you that one what i'm telling is a story huh? please don't call it a knowledge <laughs> without writing uh, uh, mathematical equations no way things can be understood here okay th th let's talk about the hole okay now th th there's a additional electron no? so i think there are uh, uh, i'm just categorizing it uh, for your understanding this free electron what happen will be captured by hole the moment this all captures it will become what happen valence electron so shall i put it now shall i take it out this two so in place of that what you should put dot oh dot uh, this is dot now this all will not keep quiet what it will do it will pull out this valence electron so now the valence electron will come here and the all will be here. next again what will do this hole will pull up this means this valence electron will jump in that it will happen the hole is what moving towards right so after some time you can see like this i should show blue color no Now after some time so you can see this dot here how 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 hole is moving hole is moving towards right no you can see this i 
and, and th this will come here and the old will be formed here look at now the uh, how how the old is getting displaced it is getting displaced towards right no hmm? it is getting displaced towards right so shall we uh, able to understand i think i'll take it out all this for for your understanding purpose i'll just show this much only okay? and and this valence electron will be pulled by this one so like this the this is the moment of hole hole direction flow of hole or like a moment of hole you write it and this is a free electron let's let's not bother free electron we are very clear about this free electron so what all the current that is there only due to free electron i should not say like that here what will happen better say all as well as free electron now why why not say sir why can't you say valence electron is only the <coughs> come back here valence electron means the one which will take a position of all is what it's what responsible for that all current no these electrons will not participate no so therefore it will be wrong to say that valence electrons also are responsible for flow of current no better say all and the free electron got this because the other valence electron they are not participating in the conduction of current so therefore the all is participating the all is getting displaced towards right free electrons towards left here uh, now what is the net current net current in terms of net current how you say this one the old current should be towards right so what all that current here ih and and even ie also what is ie due to free electron so how come that one according to our convention <coughs> uh, what is the conventional current opposite to the direction of flow of flow of electron old is a positive charge moving towards right okay fine electron moving towards le left conventional current will be towards right So what is the total current through the semiconductor? It is I. So what is that I is equal to I H plus I. So I get this. So let, let's get into the calculation part. Uh, now, now what, what is this? There will be who will move this electron hole? how come they move sir on their own there will be there should be electric field no and from where that electric field will come D due to the battery so anything can we write this e e should be equal to v by l and v is applied potential difference anything uh, shall we write now overall the current density formula all all current density formula so what all that current is flowing due to what so let's go back to the current density eta q v d we write like this and what is the current density i by a so what is i is equal to eta q v d by a. and what is v v d is called as dissipate what all this current is due to what due to both electron as well as the old both are responsible for the flow of current so therefore the total current i should be equal to i e plus i h what is i e concentration of electrons charge of electron charge of electron is what e only the speed of electron into area of cross section then concentration of holes charge of holes should be charge of electron only the speed of hole into e Okay, this is the expression. So this I by A, what you can write it as I by A now I think a few symbols have come. So I'll I'll erase this thing. So let me define the few symbols. First V D H. I think I, I can write it here. what is vdh it 
the speed of holes what is vd the speed of free electrons so it is understood huh? because <coughs> free electrons only that is huh? next again mobility will define mu, mu h mobility of electrons here okay this is the expression what we have so uh, the, then what is this i a i a you can write it as j current density formula I, and if you go back to the current density chapter we used to define like this no all the terms Uh, and uh, th there's another formula, E by rho. Shall I introduce? So go back to current density. This I by A, what we can write it as? J. So what is further J? You can write it as E by sigma E. Now what is E? E is what? <laughs> the electric field set up inside the intrinsic semiconductor and that is equal to concentration it is not in concentration okay this is h now let's come for this speed the this speed depends on what the mobility of charge it depends upon the the speed and the electric field so in general mobility what we can we can write it as vd by e No, no, no need I think uh, because E will eliminate from here only so this is the Sigma is equal to E concentration of electrons what is VD mobility of electron into applied electric field e into concentration of holes VDH will be mobility of hole into E so therefore I got an expression We are defined now. Okay, now next again. What is this? Is concentration of free electrons. And what is this? Concentration of, or oh, don't say free holes, huh? just you say holes. And if you look at the mobility of all, will be less than that of mobility of. What do you mean by mobility? How quickly it will move? So it is a, I'll, I'll, I'll take you back to the thing, that one. What, what is like a all, all is a vacancy in a bench. Huh? Suppose if there's a vacancy in a bench, then what happen? A, and, and a student is what? Like electron. If a student moves from one bench to another bench, <laughs> he'll become like a valence electron. Instead of if the student is free to move inside anywhere in the room, he'll become free electron, finish all. In entire semiconductors, you keep it like this here. Bench is a water state. In one bench, what when there are four states are there. That one. So if a vacancy, if a student jumps from one bench to another bench, nothing but what when is a valence electron, and the vacancy created by student in a bench will become a hole. Now the same student, if he moves anywhere uh, not on the bench, somewhere in the room, then shall I say he will become free electron? Tell me, like in which case student can move very easily, more mobility is there when he is wandering freely not in the benches, anywhere in the room. If he just moves from one bench to another bench, the mobility will decrease, no, he cannot move quickly. The same thing happens here. So the mobility of all will be less than that of electron. Got the idea? This one. So from this, what will happen? We have this one. So what is sigma? Sigma is called as a conductivity. So what is this? Conductivity of intrinsic semiconductor 
intrinsic means what pure pure semiconductor okay now if i go and measure this current so if i go and measure this current okay anybody can make a guess how much of current will be at room temperature see we always discuss at room temperature uh, what can be the current to this one it will be of order micro or nano ampere which is of no use which is of micro nano ampere 10 to the power of minus 9 10 to the power of minus 6 ampere for applications i need at least milli ampere so for that what i can do i'll i'll increase the temperature if i increase temperature then more electrons what happens from valence band will jump to conduction band I, i'll get more holes number of holes in valence band will increase and number of electrons in the conduction band will increase if more number of holes is more current if more number of holes more current and more free electrons more current so what happens current will increase we will agree this one so the concentration this depends on what depends on temperature also therefore the conductivity this will it depends on temperature as it is so what is the formula for this the conductivity of the intrinsic semiconductor is given by sigma naught e to the power of by 2 kt what what is t t is a temperature in kelvin and eg is energy gap okay getting this one so that this eg is a energy gap that one so like that open we'll get the conductivity of the, the the intrinsic semiconductor and it varies with the temperature it's not a timer t is a temperature t is a no as you increase temperature tell me what will happen to account to this expression as you increase temperature as we increase temperature so what happened to conductivity will decrease no or conductivity will increase what you can say that one so as you increase temperature let, let's see that as i increase temperature more electrons electrons will gain sufficient energy and they'll jump from valence band to conduction band so more number of free electrons more number of holes then more current so conductivity will increase no so then if i go and measure means by varying temperature i can vary conductivity but still what happen even if i go for say some uh, like it <coughs> uh, if i increase by 25 50 100 degrees celsius then what will happen to this the substance may itself will get damaged here so therefore i cannot i cannot take help of temperature to increase conductivity but the temperature the conductivity will vary with the temperature or reciprocal of conductivity is what you can put it as reciprocal of conductivity is what resistivity sigma 1 by rho this one so therefore so as you increase temperature what happens the conductivity will increase or the resistance will decrease here so therefore the semiconductors are having negative temperature quotient of resistance means as you increase temperature what will happen to them the resistance of that will increase or conductivity increases so i'll put it in this way as the, the conclusion as temperature increases conductivity increases and resistivity decreases here but i'm not happy with what i'm getting this current that much i'm very sure so i want to control this i want to increase this current okay tell me what i should do can I increase charge of electron okay let's bother current density here huh? because this a is there no okay I, I want to increase current density or current here so do, don't say that i'll increase a you can't make a very big uh, like a thick semiconductor where the semiconductor is there some almost around say millions of semiconductors are there in your mobile or can you increase size to one centimeter diameter so then mobile you should use crane to lift it <laughs> so therefore so don't go for anything changing area okay this one this is the fixed one as small this one okay now charge of electron can you change no what about the disk speed no this also is a fixed no 
we can't do much. And electric field, is, there's some limit is there where I can apply potential difference. So, uh, so I don't have any options much on this mu is a constant and E is what? There's a limitation. So therefore, there's a thing. Can I increase number of electrons and holes? Ah, sir, what is there by increasing temperature? But if I keep on increase temperature, suppose I want a current where at 1000 degrees Celsius, yes, I'll get a required current. At 1000 degrees Celsius, the silicon material will melt no? and it will be very hot. So not possible. No? So therefore, so what shall we do here? So how to increase this particular current here? The only option is by some means, if you can increase number of electrons in a semiconductor or number of holes, problem solved. So what is our next uh, adventure? What we are going to do? What we are going to do? We are going to increase that current by either increasing number of electrons in the material or number of holes here. How to increase that number of electrons or holes? That calculate doping. And there what happened? We'll start at an extrinsic semiconductor. By adding impurity items to a pure semiconductor, we can increase the, the conductivity of a semiconductor or we can increase the current and we can control this current. How much you want? Those many electrons you add up. So now, uh, sir, why can't we do this for uh, metal, copper? There also can increase uh, like a electrons. So is it copper will permit for you? Copper atom, how many electrons you should have? That is a fixed, you know. Whereas the silicon weapon, we do have option because of this. Conduction band can accommodate what? Free electrons. So therefore, either by increasing number of electrons in the conduction band or by increasing number of holes in the valence band, we can increase the conductivity or we can increase the current. And that too, I can control how much of current I want. That depends upon concentration of electrons and holes. So like this, what happened? We do for next adventure, what we are going to do that one. Okay, this is about the, some uh, conclusion. Uh, I think there's only theoretical ideas what we have put and these formulas are very important. For example, the conductivity of pure semiconductor varies with temperature according to this given equation and th this particular equation. How to increase conductivity? Have option either by increasing number of holes in conduction band or holes in the valence band. So I'll put it now, statement. The conductivity of can be increased by increasing concentration of free electrons in conduction band or concentration of holes in balance band. How to increase that is method called doping that one. By doping, by adding impurity items, what happened? we can increase. So here next. by adding impurity items can be achieved. I'll stop it here. Tomorrow we'll start from this. Uh,